dear friends and welcome to our third lesson on mixtures. So we want to tackle a past KCSE question done in 2013, paper 2, question number 18. So the question reads that a dealer has three grades of coffee, X, Y, and Z. Grade X costs 140 and grade Y costs 160 per kg and Z costs 256 per kg. So part A, we are, required, we are told that the dealer mixes grades X and Y in the ratio of 5 to 3 to make a brand of coffee which sells at 180 per kg. Calculate the percentage profit that he makes. So the first thing, we'll just make our symbol table here. So we'll have our uh, small table here. So for part A, for part A, they are talking of uh, the dealer mixes X and Y. That is two grades only X and Y in the ratio of 5 to 3. So we'll only make uh, three columns. So 1, 2, 3. So the other one will be for the mixture or the, the brand. In this case, they are calling it the brand. Remember, sometimes we can use the word the blend. Sometimes we can also use the word the mixture. So we have the brand there. So the brand is made of um, X and Y. So we have um, grades X and grade Y. So the first thing here is the ratio. Then the ratio in this case is in, um, we are told per kg. So the ratio is in kilogram. So the ratio is in kg. So we are told that the dealer mixes X and Y in the ratio of 5 to 3. So the ratio of 5 to 3. So of course the total ratio will be 5 plus 3, which is equals to the 8 or the brand. Then from there we go to the cost per kg, the cost per kg of X and Y. So we are told the dealer has three grades X and Y. Grade X costs 140 per kg. So the cost here is 140 shillings. Then Y costs 160 per kg. So the cost here is uh, 160. Then from there, we just go directly to the total cost. Total cost. So this one will give us, so we just multiply. So we'll take 5 times uh, 140. So 5 multiplied by 140, we'll get 700. So this gives us a total of 700 shillings. 3 by 160, 3 multiplied by 160, we'll just get 480. So we get 480. So the total cost, we add 700 plus uh, 480. So 480 plus 700, so this will give us 1180. So this gives us 1180. So remember, these are shillings. These are kilogram because the ratio was given in a kilogram. So, but A, they are talking of some certain profit. So let's first of all find the cost per kg of uh, the brand. So the cost cost per kg of the brand that was made which is the same as the buying price uh, per kg the buying price per kg so that one will simply be equal to you take the total cost total uh, total cost then divided by the total ratio total cost divided by the total ratio that will give us the buying price per kg or the cost price per kg which is equals to total cost is uh, that is shillings, Kenya shillings, uh, 1180 divided by the total ratio is 8 kg, 8 kilogram. So this will give us a buying price or a cost price of 1180 divided by 8. I'll simply get uh, 14, 147.5. So this gives me Kenya shillings, 147.5, of course, per kilogram, shillings per kilogram. So once we have the cost price, then we are told that the dealer mixes X and Y in the ratio of 5 to 3 to make a brand of coffee which sells at 180. So in short, that is the selling price. Then they want us to calculate the percentage profit that he makes. So we are given, we are given the selling price. So the selling price is given, that is per kg, is given as Kenya shillings, 180 per kilogram, 180 per kg. So if you want to find the percentage profit, of course, percentage profit is simply the selling price minus buying price, which is just the profit divided by buying price times 100%. So this will give us the selling price, we are told is 180 shillings minus the buying price or the cost price is 147.5 divided by the buying price is 147.5 times 100%. So this will simply give us, I'll take 180 minus 
uh, 147.5 this will give me 32.5 so I have 32 32.5 divided by 147.5 times 100 percent so this will give me a selling price of um, so I have 32.5 over 147.5 then multiplied by 100 this will give me uh, so I just press here uh, so I get 22 that is uh, of course those are that is percentage profit uh, so 22 2 over 59 percent which is approximately remember in math if you have to leave your answer in uh, decimals you simply uh, you ensure that your answer is correct to four significant figures unless otherwise stated so this can also be left as 22.03 Remember in this case zero is significant because it is existing between two and zero digits Then uh, part B so that is for part A then part B we are told that the dealer makes a new brand by mixing uh, Three grades that is uh, in the ratio X Y then Y to Z so part A determine the uh, ratio uh, X Y to Z so this is B Roman 1 so we are given that x y the ratio of x to y is 5 to 3 so we have uh, x to y its ratio we are given as 5 to 3 then we are given y to z so y to z its ratio is um, 2 to 5 the ratio is 2 to 5 so if we want to find the ratio of x y to z we just ensure that the value that is repeating each other uh, it has the same value so for this case you can see y is repeated here y is also repeated there so the value of y for the first ratio is 3, that is the second value. The value of y for the first ratio is the first value, which is 2. So just ensure that the values of y are the same, that is 3 and 2, because y and y, they are just the same. So to achieve that, to achieve that, I'll multiply these equations, it's just like the elimination method. So to achieve having similar values here, I'll multiply this equation by 2, then I multiply this equation by 3, so that... 3 by 2 I'll get 6, 3 by 2 I'll also get 6. So the ratio of x to y is now equal to 5 times 2, I'll get 10 to uh, 3 times 2, I'll simply get 6. Then y to z will be given by 3 by 2, I'll simply get uh, 6 to 5 by 3, I'll get 15. Therefore, the ratio of x to y to z will be equal to, so my value of x is 10 2 my value of y is 6 remember if you also use this one your value of y will be 6 then the value of z is 15 my value of z is 15 so but we were told in the simplest form possible so this is the simplest form possible because we don't have any other number that can divide through 10 6 and 15 without leaving a remainder but for example assuming assuming maybe the ratio was something close to maybe 20 to uh, maybe 12 to 30 for this case you could have divided by 2 so that you end up with a ratio of so this one over 2 over 2 over 2 so you could have ended up with 10 to 6 to 15 but in this case the ratio that we have is in the simplest form then Roman 2 Roman 2 we are told that um, uh, the selling price the question was determiner or finder we are determine the selling price of the new brand if he has to make a profit of 30% so we are given percentage profit. So if we want to find the selling price, we must have the buying price. So we just make another uh, small table here. Now having the new brand. So the brand has, uh, they, they mix the three brands. Huh? That is X, Y, and Z. By mixing the three brands, which is X, Y, and Z. So I'll have my X here, Y, and then Z here. Then of course, this is the brand or the blend. Or sometimes you can also use the word mixtures so the first thing here of course is the ratio uh, which is in uh, kg so the ratio of x y to z in this case the x is 10 y is 6 z is 15 so total ratio 10 plus 6 plus 15 so i just take 10 plus 6 plus 15 i'll get 31 i'll get 31 as my total ratio then from there we go to the cost cost per kg the cost per kg for this case i'll have uh, the following cost per kg remember it was given from part a so the cost per kg for x was uh, x was uh, grade x cost 140 so this one was 140 
y was costing 160 so this is 160 then z was costing 256 so this is a uh, 256 then from there i'll calculate the total cost the total cost so you simply take 10 by 140 which of course will give you 1400 6 by 160 so 6 by 160 this one i'll get uh, 960 then plus uh, 15 15 by 256 15 by by 256 i'll get 3840 so i'm getting 3840 then total cost for the whole brand you simply take 1400 plus 960 plus 3840 so 14 100 1400 plus uh, 960 then plus 3840 i'll simply obtain 62 6200 so that means the cost per kg the cost per kg which is the same as the buying price per kg will simply be given by we simply take the total cost total cost divided by total cost divided by the total ratio total ratio of course the total ratio is in kg the total cost is in shillings so this will simply be uh, 6200 these are shillings divided by uh, total total ratio was 31 kg so 31 kg so this one will give me so i want to take 6200 6200 divided by 6200 uh, sorry 6200 divided by uh, 31 so this one will give me 200 so these are shillings 200 of course per kg 200 shillings per kg so that is the buying price so we are told that calculate the selling price of the new brand if he has to make a profit of 30 percent so we know that selling price will simply take if we are talking of 30 percent the selling price will be 130 percent of the buying price so you simply take 100 plus 30 over 100 times the buying price of course which is equals to uh, 130 that is 130 uh, divided by 100 percent times the buying price so the buying price is actually we have found it as 200 200 which will give us so 130 over 100 times 200 so let me just compute it here uh, 130 over 100 times 200 so this will give me 200 and 60 so i'm getting so remember these are shillings huh? uh, shillings 260 of course per kg per kg so that is the selling price that he's supposed to uh, use in order to make a profit of 30 percent thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will get notified this is Kind Tuition Academy. Until next time.